All right, so we're going to talk about how to set up tank mixes for liquid product control, particularly with proprietary liquid product control. So, for instance, if we had a liquid system on an early riser planter or pre-ISO sprayers or, for instance, AccuControl or Intellerate. So, in order to set up a tank mix, we need to go to Toolbox and Product. And then the first thing we need to do is set up all of our products that are going to go into our tank mix. So we do that by touching the product name up here. And we're going to select new to select a new, create a new product. So first, like I said, we're going to create all of our products that go into our mix. So of course, typically when we're spraying, we're always going to have water as part of our mixture. So we'll put in water, we want our product form to be liquid, usage we can uh, keep as generic, um, you can also choose herbicide or pesticide uh, if that's what your tank mix is, is going to be for. And then the application rates, uh, we don't necessarily have to populate these for products that are going into a tank mix, you can if you like but uh, I'm just gonna leave these alone for now. So we've created one product that's gonna go into our mix. We'll now create another one. So let's go ahead and say ATZ for atrazine. Product form's gonna be liquid. Usage is going to be herbicide. And then let's put one more product into our mixture. Again, product form is liquid. And this is an herbicide. Okay, so now we've created three, mix three products that'll go into the mixture. Lumax, Atrazine, and water. Now we're going to actually create our tank mix, our, our product mix. So we'll select new. We can call this whatever we want. You could call it tank. Uh, we could call it herbicide. I'm just going to call it pre. We'll pretend this is a pre-emerge mixture. Liquid usage, we'll put in herbicide. Okay. And then we can put in our default app rate, um, max and mins if you so choose. But the big thing to pay attention to, we have to scroll down, see where it says mixture here. Currently the selection is no. We need to change that to yes. Now we see a couple more things pop up for us. Number of products. Remember we created three products for our mixture, so we're going to change this to three. And then we can assign our different products that are going to go into that tank mix. So our atrazine, our Lumax, and our water. Notice I have the amount of product in the mixture. So right now my mix type is percent. So I would say, okay, what percentage of my tank mix is atrazine? What percentage is Lumax? What percentage is water? Another really simple way to do this is to actually choose formula rather than percent. So say you were working with a tank that is a thousand gallons. You can then just punch in how much of that tank is going to be atrazine, how much is going to be Lumax, and how much is going to be water. And then the um, proportion of product in that mixture will then be calculated and tracked appropriately. And we can change our units as well. So we can go from gallons to ounces, pints, quarts, etc.